And today we're going to be covering mixing tools. So starting with my left right here is going to provide a uh, solid mix for you. And this can be used with just a uh, powerful half inch drill. As we're moving in with the middle, it's another good solid mixture for you as well. And then another important fact would be this knob right here is that's going to help protect the bottom of the bucket as you are mixing. It might provide or provide you a little leeway if you need to uh, lean in and uh, go at a different angle. That might be helpful for you as well. Uh, but I'll always highly recommend this right here, and that's going to go with a double auger, which is going to present a nice vortex as you are going through with the item. But one important note for this one is it's sharp. So when you purchase it for the first time, I would highly recommend taking a file and filing down the blades. So as you are using this in your bucket, you don't happen to chip away at it. Thanks for watching, that's it for mixing. So the first tool that I would like to highlight for us is going to be the speed squeegee here. This is gonna be an excellent tool for applying both your base coat and your top coat with the scalloped edges and it's gonna help provide the perfect mill thickness for you. Well, moving on to our next product over here will be our rolling system. But I do wanna highlight these rollers that can both be used for the base coat as well as the top coat when you are back rolling. So this can also be paired well with the gauge system that we offer online. So what's important to note with this roller is that it's gonna provide a uh, smooth finish and a controlled release and it doesn't shed for you as well. Today we're going to be talking about safety when you are handling or anywhere around the products. First is always going to be wearing your safety glasses. It's always important to wear to protect your eyes. Second would be the respirator. Anytime that you're dealing with our, uh, the products, it's always important to wear the respirator. The gloves for you as well to protect your hands. Or the plastic drop cloth as well, which is just going to be good to protect uh, from getting product in any unwanted areas.